Welcome to Huh Tech. My name is Stephen Kraft, or The Dabbling Developer, and I hope to take you from huh to huh about the latest tech specs and news as it relates to you as an enthusiast and to me as a developer. The recently announced and highly anticipated Project Scorpio from Microsoft's Xbox division has been touting around its specs like a little boy with a big stick. The boy tries his best to describe the stick, but no one has any idea what he's actually talking about. Here are the specs. True 4K gaming, 6 teraflops of power, 320 gigabytes per second memory bandwidth, and an 8-core CPU. In other words, look at my big stick. Isn't it shiny? Isn't it pretty? You want it, don't you? Let's start with the most telling and obscure spec, 6 teraflops of power. That is, what is a teraflop? Well, there's actually two parts to that word. Tera, which means a trillion, like in a terabyte, a trillion bytes. We have at least heard that part of the word before and FLOPS, which stands for Floating Point Operations Per Second. We love our acronyms. So a teraflop is a trillion floating point operations per second. Great, video over, see you in the next one. Just kidding, that still only makes as much sense as PewDiePie deleting his YouTube channel. Let's break down what a flop is, besides what Cristiano Ronaldo does on the field. A floating point operation is math with decimal points. The floating point being the decimal point. And we all remember how much harder 7.438 times 6.422 was to do compared to 6 times 7. Most of us were in the back eating the glue anyway. The question is, why do we care about doing math in a video game? I just shoot things. Math is for suckers. Well, it's all about polygons. I know you have heard about polygons if you've ever read or talked about creating video games, or if you can remember back to your glue eating days, you will recall that they are just shapes. Let's take a simple, simple polygon to start, a triangle. Now, a computer can't actually see a triangle like we can. It sees it in numbers. For each point of the triangle, there are three numbers that represent where it sits and how big it is. There is an X coordinate like 4.072, a Y coordinate like 78.672, and a Z coordinate like 4.0. Now that the computer knows where each point is, it has to fill in the triangle, again with a color represented by a number. So 10 numbers to draw a single triangle. Now there is a light source that comes into play with hundreds of rays of light bouncing off that triangle, each with their own X, Y, and Z to worry about. Now a computer model like a tree might have millions of polygons to worry about. The number of numbers grows very quickly and each of those numbers changes as you move through the game and interact with the world. Thus, the math grows quickly. The more flops a chip has, the more polygons and interactions can take place. Project Scorpio has six teraflops. That means a lot of pretty things on the screen and a lot of particles and light effects. All because it can do the math. Which for me means I can add more complex and photorealistic models to the game. See? Isn't my stick shiny? To give a comparison, the PS4 Pro has 4.14 teraflops and the top PCs have 8.9 teraflops. Now onto the buzzwords, true 4K gaming, which basically means no upscaling. On current systems offering 4K gaming, they don't have the flops to keep track of all those pixels, so they draw as many as they can and then guess at what the other should be. For the most part, it does a great job at guessing, but it's always better to know the winning lottery numbers than to guess. As a developer, this means more granularity in my designs. Small shifts in color will show up accurately on the screen. Isn't my stick pretty? 320 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth means it can load in-game assets quicker and push larger and more complex assets across at a time. A PS4 Pro has 218 gigabytes per second and a top-end PC has 320 gigabytes per second. Look how big my stick is. The eight CPU cores can take advantage of that memory bandwidth. The memory bandwidth are like trains coming into a station, the station being the CPU. You can hire one person to deal with all of those trains, or eight. A PS4 Pro has eight CPU cores, and a top-end PC has eight CPU cores. That is pretty much the cap to what we can put on a small chip. Look how fast I can swing my stick. So of course the Scorpio is the most powerful console ever created. Only Nintendo releases outdated hardware. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. 
And if you like these kind of videos, like and subscribe to the channel, and I would be more than happy to do more of them. Oh, and comment below what else you would like me to discuss, and I will take a look. Thank you.